Hey everybody and welcome back for video number two of Vantica training. We're gonna jump right into it, trying to make these videos as short as possible for your convenience. All right, so we are right now on ACCU's landing page. Go to your resident login, hit this login button. By now you should already have your email and your password to be able to log in. So let's go ahead and get logged in. All right, so here is your portal as a homeowner. I'm gonna go through these in detail um, as quickly as possible. This is Presidential Valley. It's our test association. And right now I'm logged in as John Adams. So there is no confidential information in here. This is really for our training for you. By selecting my account, um, this is going to, going to go ahead and give you your ledger. What exactly everything that is owed or paid on your account, you can hit this download report if you want and you can download this to your computer. We're gonna look at the dashboard. The dashboard is gonna give you a snapshot of everything that you have going on right now. Uh, it's going to give you a snapshot of your account information, the balance that is currently there, any upcoming assessments. Um, in this community, there's a special assessment for $50. You can go ahead and view your account by hitting here, uh, view your recurring payments. Are you on auto draft? Uh, those types of things. Any open issues, any collections, violations, anything that pertains to your particular unit, you're going to find under the dashboard. This make a payment. You can also find that down here under this big orange button. You can do uh, auto draft, which is also ACH. Uh, you can set that up here. Now, if you have a current balance, you're going to need to go over to one time e check you're going to need to settle that balance and then you can go into auto draft and you can set it up for auto draft. You can do a recurring e-check. And lastly is credit card. You can't do a credit card. Some people want the miles. However, there's an asterisk there because there's a fee for using a credit card. So you may or may not want to do that. Um, now let's look at my items. Um, this is where the communication between ACCU and you as a homeowner can thrive. This XN um, that's really a ticket number. Um, I don't know why they use XN, but uh, they do, they being Vantica. When you are provided an XN number, when you send an email to support at accuinc.com and you get a reply email with the XN number, if you call in, you will always give us the XN number, which we'll be able to go and be able to look at exactly what the description is. And no matter who is servicing you here at our company, we'll be able to get familiar with your account. Why it's so important to use the ticketing system rather than email is because we can help one another out. So if somebody's on vacation or we're reassigning uh, the association to another manager, all that history is maintained. Very, very important. But for you as an owner, you have the transparency for all the communications you've had with our company. This little drop down right here can be vital. Um, this can show you exactly what's happened on the ticket and how many people in the company have worked on that particular ticket. So definitely something that you'll want to know um, for a level of transparency. Moving on, my contact info. This is important for us to be able to effectively manage you. Um, you can come in here and you can change your communication preference. You can drop down, uh, you can choose paper or email, um, your billing communication preference. Uh, we, of course, prefer email, but if you want paper, you can still have paper. Um, and if you enter your information here and uh, update the contact information, it's going to be a big help. Um, my login, this is where you can go in and update your login credentials. So if you have an architectural request for your association, simple as going here, um, choosing from the drop down menu, I wanna put a basketball hoop in, provide the instructions here on what it is you're going to do, and then the estimated start stop date, pretty self-explanatory. This is where you're gonna go in, you hit uh, select files to be able to select files from your computer to be able to upload. Uh, so we have pictures, all the information, whether you have plans that need to go in there and you're gonna hit submit. That's going to start the process of the ACH very fast, very effective. Um, and then of course, the submit a request. This is where you can come in and you can submit a billing question, a fee waiver request, a general question. Now these are gonna go directly to the departments that they need to go to without you having to remember that uh, perhaps a accounting question is supposed to go to Christy and a manager question should go to James. Um, the system already knows because we've told it where it's supposed to go and much quicker, much more effective way for uh, communications to be held. You'll type in what you need here 
You're, again, if you have any files that you would like to attach, you can, you hit submit, it comes directly to us, very fast and effective. Now, one of my favorite parts of Vantica and managing our community associations is this calendar and events page. This calendar and events page is going to um, show the owners what's coming up in the association. I prefer this month view. Um, and for the test association, it is blank. However, there's things to know about the calendar. If you are an owner, you will only see things that relate to you as an owner, such as uh, board meetings that are gonna be coming up or maybe barbecues, uh, annual barbecue for the association. But the board is going to see all board events that are supposed to take place. So in the event that there are annual things that are supposed to be completed by a board next year, if you're watching this and you're deciding that you wanna run for your board and you do get elected, what when you come in, you will be assigned as a board member and now all of a sudden you'll have the view of all the things that you're supposed to do. Very effective way to manage an association. The directory, that is really something that is uh, for homeowners only. Um, so please be very cognizant about the way in which you use the directory. And then last but not least, uh, documents of the association. This is huge on transparency. The financials are uploaded um, on a monthly basis. And so if you're curious how the association is spending money, you can always go here. You will be provided the balance sheet and the actual versus budget. Um, there is redacted information. Um, not that it's not for you to obtain. If you want to see that information, you can always do that through a document inspection request, but we just redact it only because it is proprietary to the association and we may, we need to make sure that it's for the correct eyes only. Um, your governing documents are going to be in here. Your meet, meeting minutes are going to be in here, et cetera, et cetera. So that is a quick rundown on what is in the owner portal. And I will be coming back again sometime soon with an update and the next video on how to use Vanica. So until then, take care.